ni yake in moment like this i sing a song i sing a love song to jesus in moment like this i lift up my hands i lift up my hands to the lord in moment in moment like this i sing out a song i sing out a love song to jesus in moment like this i lift up my hands i lift up mother's womb mm. and because we know there is a call yes and the appointed day almighty god yes this is the day that you have made almighty god mm. that you will be glad in you almighty god yes lord and even in serving you mighty god mm. the family of idcc is glad and as we sit for a short moment mm. and hear your word and ordain a mighty God. Yes. Let the ordination start from above and let the fruits follow him. Let all the demons and witches and sorcerers mm. and magicians yes. know that is the day this, that your son is ordained mm. to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God at the accepted time mm. to cleanse the lepers, mm. to heal the sick, mm might and everlasting father things that you did and you said after the seventh day you yes. rested that we may take over things that jesus did and three and a half day he left so that he may take over yes lord. let your servant take over with us almighty god yes lord. bless us lord and be with us yes. in jesus name we pray amen we 
can take our seats. Nessa tukaketi. Thank you so 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 much. You can take your seats. Nessa tukaketi. Ah, uh, today we are ordaining Helda Moya to be a pastor in IDCC and in the branch that we will later open for him. Leo tunaeka wakfu kiongozi mse wa kanisa Boniface Boya kuwa mchungaji na kisha baadaye tafungulia kanisa ambayo atakuwa na hudumu. And because we don't have new words to speak to the brethren that have grown faithfully in the house of the Lord and in the character of Christianity. Na kwa sababu tuna maneno yetu mpya ya kuhubiri na ku kunenea wana wa Mungu na watumishi wa Mungu wanaolelewa katika kanisa I just want to say to Bonfas the things that Paul said to Timothy Nataka tu kumkumbusha Bonfas maneno ambayo Paulo aliweza kumwambia Timothea in the New Testament katika angani jipya and we see when somebody is ordained how he should behave in the old testament na pia tunaona vile mtu akiwa ameweka wakfu vile anakuwa na mwelekeo we can turn to our bibles in the book of second timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10 timothy wa pili msar ukurasa wa pili kuanzia msari wa kwanza hadi wa 10 the bible says thou therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in christ jesus and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also thou therefore endure hardness as good soldier of Jesus Christ no man were entangled himself with the affairs of this life that he may please who has chosen him to be a soldier and if a man also strive for mysteries of yet is he not crowned except he striveth lawfully the husband that labored must be first partaker of the fruits consider what i say and the lord gives thee understanding in all these things Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my to my gospel wherein I suffer trouble as an evil doer even unto the bones but the word of God is not born therefore endure all things for elect sake that they may also obtain salvation which is in Christ Jesus with the eternal glory basi wewe mwanangu uwe odari katika nehema iliyo katika Kristo Yesu na mambo yale uliyoyasikia kwangu mbele ya mashahidi wengi hayo ukawakabidhi watu waminifu watakaofaa kuwafundisha na wengine ushiriki tahabu pamoja nami kama askari mwema wa Kristo Yesu hakuna apigaye vita ajitiaye katika shughuli za dunia ili ampendese yeye aliyemwandika awe askari hata mtu akishindana katika mchezo apewi asiposhindana kwa alali ya pasa mkulima mwenye taabu ya kasi kuwa na kwanza wa kuwa kuwa wa kwanza wa kupata fungu la matunda yafahamu sana hayo nisemayo kwa maana bwana atakupa akili katika mambo yote mkumbuke Yesu Kristo aliyefufuka katika wafu wa uzao wa Daudi kama inavyo kama inavyo injili yangu nami katika hiyo nimestawi nimeteswa hata kufungwa kama mtenda mabaya 
lakini neno la Mungu alifungwi kwa ajili ya hilo nistahimili na istahimili mambo yote kwa ajili ya wateule ili wao nao wapate wokofu ule ulio katika Kristo Yesu pamoja na utukufu wa milele amen First Samuel chapter 11 verse 14 and we continue in the sec, in verse in chapter 12 The Bible says then Samuel then said Samuel to the people come and let us go to Gigal and renew the kingdom there and all the people went to Gigal and there they made Saul king before the Lord in Gigal and there they sacrificed they sacrificed sacrifices or peace offering before the Lord and the soul and the soul and all the men of Israel rejoiced greatly chapter 12 from verse 1 and Samuel said unto all Israel behold I have echoed unto your voice in all that you said unto me and have meant king over you and now behold the king walketh before you and i am old and great haired and behold my sons are with me um, with you and i have walked before you from my childhood up to unto this day behold here i am i, I am witness against me before the lord and before his anointed whose oaths oaths have i taken or whose as have i taken or whom have i defrauded who as whom have i oppressed or whose and have i received any bribe to blind my eyes therein i will restore it to you and they said thou hast not defrauded us no oppressed us neither hast thou taken out out of any man's hand and he said unto them the lord is witness against you and is anointed his witness this day that he has not found found out in any hand and they answered he is witness kisha samueli akawaambia watu chukueni viti haya na twendeni mpaka kilgali ili tuimarishe ufalme uko mara ya pili nao watu wote waka, wakaenda galigali wakamtrasa Sauli bele za bwana uko Gelgali wakachinja sandaka za amani mbele za bwana na huko Sauli na watu wote wa Israeli wakafurahia sana 16 sari wa kwanza 12 kisha Samueli akamwambia akawaambia Israeli wote angalieni nimesikiliza sauti yenu katika hayo yote mlio niambia Nami nimemtruasa mfalme juu yenu. Basi sasa angalieni. Mfalme anakwenda mbele yenu. Na ni mimi na mimi ni mzee mwenye mvi tena tanzameni Wana wangu wapo pamoja nanyi. Nami nimekwenda mbele yenu toka ujana wangu hata leo. Nami nipo hapa basi nishuhudie mbele za Bwana na bele ya masii wake nalitoa nilitoa ngombe wa nani au nilitoa punda wa nani au ni nani nilie mudhulumu ni nani nilie muonea au kwa mkono ni nani nimepokea rushwa anifushe anifushe macho nami nitawa nami nitawarudi nitawarudishia nanyi nao wakasema huku tudhulumu wala huku tuonea wala huku pokea kitu kwa mkono wa mtu hawe yote akawaambia 
Wana ni shahidi juu yenu na masihi. Samueli akawaambia watu wote, ni yeye Bwana aliyewaweka Musa. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. These are the words I should say to you and remind all other pastors and I can see everybody is a candidate for ordination to become a servant of God. Haya ndio maneno naweza kukuambia kama mtumishi wa Mungu na hapa naona kila mtu anastahili na anaelekea kuhitimu kuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. Paul was uh, the apostle. Paulo alikuwa mtume. And Paul was not witnessed to anybody to know Jesus Christ. Paulo hakuhubiriwa na mtu yeyote hamjue Kristo. Nobody told Paul that is called Mr. Jesus. Hakuna yeyote alimhubiria Paulo ya kwamba huyo ndiye Yesu Kristo. He was persecuting the church. Alikuwa na tesa kanisa. In other word the wife of Jesus. Kwa jina lingine mke wa Yesu. And a man is entitled to die for the wife and for the family. And if you can't, you are not a true man. Anasahili kufa kwa njili ya mke wake na jamii yake. Na kama wewe si kufa kwa jamii yako basi wewe si mwanaume. Nobody should touch your wife when you are alive. Hakuna mtu anasahili kunguza mke wako kiwa hai. Whether you are saved or not. Umeokoka ama hujaokoka. That is a special gift you should protect. Hiyo ni kipawa cha kipekee unasahili kuipata. And we are the wife of our Lord Jesus Christ. Na wewe ni mke wa Yesu Kristo. And he said I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Akasema nitajenga kanisa langu na misingi ya kusimu haitaishi. Because he will defend the wife and protect and the fight whoever will come against them. Mana atatetea mke na atamulinda na atapika yoyote atamfamia. And so said I will go and persecute that wife of Jesus. Basi Paulo akasema nitaenda nitese ule mke wa Yesu. And he didn't take some kilometers. Haikuchukua muda mrefu. He went and Jesus came from above. Akatokea na Yesu akashuka. And they Tukajua. met in Damascus junction. Wakakutana pale njia ni wakaelekea Damascus. And Jesus never spoke to him. Yesu akumwangelesha. He just saw the light and the power. Aliona mwanga na nguvu. And is uh, and his pride and mockery ended there. Kiburi chake na mabarao ikaisha. When he saw the husband of the church, he could not see any more. Alipona mme wa kanisa macho ikapotea. The light of Christ uh, dis destroyed the eyes of Saul. Mwanga wa Yesu na utukufu wa Yesu ukaangamiza na kuharibu macho. And he never knew who was the husband of the church hakujua ni nani alikuwa mme wa kanisa and when he was down alipokuwa pale chini jesus asked him yesu akamuuliza and he said akasema who are you lord akamwambia yesu wewe ni nani bwana because the lord was asking him how can you dare that sharp sharp what nil Sharp nail. A two. And you survive. Unewezaje pika musumari teke. How can you stand on a sharp needle and big one and survive there? Unewezaje simama njuya sindano na ukae. Because this is to threaten me. Mana hii ni kunitisha. This is to touch my heart. Hii ni kunguza moyo wangu. This is to touch my wife. Hii ni kunguza mke wangu. This is to touch the church. Hii ni kunguza kanisa. And he said, "Who are you, Lord?" Akamulizan, wewe ni nani bwana? And he told him, "I'm the, uh, I'm hmm. the, I'm Jesus whom you are persecuting." Whom you are persecuting? Mimi ndiye Yesu hule mbaya unatesa. Church and Jesus is the wife and the husband. Kanisa Yesu na kanisa ni mme na mke. And as from today there is no demon, there is no power, there is no witchcraft, there is no sorcerer, there is nobody who. 
na kwanza leo hakuna mchai hakuna pepo hakuna mganga atakunguza because you are a wife of Jesus Christ if you don't know. maana wewe ni mke wa Yesu Kristo kama and all men are co-wives with us as wives of Jesus Christ na wanaume wote mlio hapa nyinyi ni wake wa Yesu even when we reach at home and you say you must wash my legs mm. you know you are just a co-wife like with me mm. Hata ukifika kule kwako nyumbani unaambia mke wako lazima hii mingu ingare ukae ukinjua hata wewe ni mke wa mtu You are co wife with your wife <laughs> Ni mke mwenza mumeolewa mboma moja na mke wako spiritually Kiro So be careful how how you treat your mm-hmm. co wife Kwa hivyo kuwa mwangalifu vile unashungulikia mke mwenza wako Praise the name of the Lord Bwana zifiwe and from that day Paul met Jesus and he was instructed to go to Anania his life would never the same na tangua siku hilo paulo akamuriwa aende kwa anania amshauri the problem of people it is to be introduced shida ya watu ni kuelezewa and you introduce people as, as if you beseech them Unaelezea watu ni kama unawapembeleza. As if you are suggesting uh, ni, uh, ni kama ni wazo, wazo wafikirie. As if you are feed spooning them. Ni kama wanawalisha chakula ya mtoto. What so so kile zauli aliona na macho yake. He could not believe it. Hakuamini and he didn't forget it na hakuzao and if you find people playing with his salvation they were told do you know mr jesus do you know he heals but there are people who had been in counter with the christ ukiona watu wanachezea wokovu ni wale wamlumbiwa unajua yesu nataka kumpokea yesu if you want to meet with god do exceedingly evil kama unataka ukutane na mungu wewe endelea kutenda maovu zaidi you meet with him live life mtakutana hana kwa if you want to see god ukitaka kumuona mungu do the best anya yote mazuri you meet with him and he will talk to you as i'm talking to you pia utakutana naye na mtaongea vile tunaongea and your life will never be the same again na maisha yako itakuwa vile tena and when we see people playing with god like another boy roasting means there we know you have never met with him kwa hivyo tukiona watu wanachezea mungu kama kijana na pale nje tunajua wewe bado hujakutana naye unabembelezoa wokovu mm unapewa peremende ndio ukuje kanisani mm unabebwa unanunuliwa bus ndio uwe unaokotwa ndio ukuje kanisani kwa sababu bila hiyo bus kupitia kayole mm. dandora korokosho Chonjo chonjo kona kona macho ma chonjo uwezi kuja church hutaweza kuingia kanisa praise the name of the lord <laughs> wanasema <laughs> kwa hivyo ndio sababu uwezi tununulia basi since the time of john the baptist <laughs> tangua wakati wa yohana mpatizaji the kingdom of god suffers violence and the violence take it by force ufalme wa Mungu unachukuliwa na walio na nguvu sometimes we could go to kalolen without mm. without because we don't have bus fare wakati mwingine tungeenda kalolen kwa mguu route 11 tukitembea we, we are there at 4 na saa kumi watu wa kanisa to wash the church wanaosha kanisa and when we have washed the church we dress and you and 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 do what unachipangusa our, our, our feet and the oil our the face and everything and you think we came like that after baada ya kusafisha kanisa wananawa wanaoga wanavaa tena wanajifaka mafuta unadhania walikuja wakiwa wanangara but you would have met with us you think we are going to marikiti on sunday lakini kama ungekutana nas ungesema ha watu ni wasoko our days people are very sophisticated mm. i i didn't see you in the church i didn't have bus fare 
people are not serious mm, si kupata nauri ya kwenda kanisani ndio sababu even paul was blind and he had nobody to take him <laughs> to look where anania is <laughs> and there is no bus fare that god has given unto him sahuli pia alikuwa kifofu lakini alijipeleka kwa mungu he was go aliambiwa nenda praise the name of the lord bwana sifiwe so to cut the long story short hivyo kufupisha habari he was not joking hakuwa na chesa and he was advising timothy alikuwa na mshauri timothy telling him akimwambia telling him akimwambia was to and these things that thou has had of me among many witnesses the same commit thou faithful men who shall be able to teach others and he was telling him in verse 3 thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier na mambo yale uliyoyasikia kwangu mbele ya mashahidi wengi hayo ukawa ukawakabidhi watu waminifu watakao watakao fa kuwafundisha na wengine Sari wa tatu ushiriki taabu pamoja nami kama askari mwema wa Kristo Yesu People think when you come to Christ things are new mm, shiriki taabu Praise the name of the Lord Bwana asifiwe People and my pastors when they are preaching and they are dressing mm. well but if they give you the history wakikupatia historia yao hata kama vile wanapenda vile wanakaa for some years i preached with a torn pandi every corner of it it was full of holes and i'm not ashamed to say so mm. na bishop anaongea nini i had to endure mm. and in the evening i cannot iron it like that itaisha nitaparusuka yote na wekelea hapo Mm. Panakauka. Mm. Ukifanya hivi itabaki mauzi bwana. Siku zukuma fasi ni kuinua. And I told God if you want to be me to be your servant mm. and preach well never allow people to fall mm. because they can fall on me <laughs> and I raise my eyes and they will not believe me again. Nikaambia Mungu kama kuna kitu tazaidia nalo usuia kusikuwa na mtu anaanguka nikiwaombea maana anaweza niangukea ninue miguu ile nguo ionekane and you know that time we used to use our clothes like they were like umbrella and the lord was <laughs> the anointing of and the holy spirit broke the boundaries and somebody <laughs> fell on me eh. and i fell down <laughs> walikuwa wanavaa ile linda sema linda sio skirt ile linda inaitwa sachula mm. na ni pana kidogo <laughs> ikipigwa na upepo kidogo mtoto yeah. anaweza ingia ndani so although almost everybody fell down ingawa kila mtu aliyokuwa pala alianguka my concern was not the healing now <laughs> I asked them what did you see? Uliona nini? Uliona nini? Umeona nini? Sasa shughuli yake ni nani ameona na ameona nini? And I say to the Lord if they have seen me I have stopped preaching and I will not continue. I don't know whether they say the truth mm. or not. They say nothing we have seen. We have seen nothing we have seen. but I think they saw what they never expected. <laughs> and we had to endure ikawa ni lazima nishinde nishiriki we mm. could come come out of our house very early in the morning mm. and walk beyond kayole we na migu mm. wanatoka nyumbani asubuhi au fajiri na tunaenda kilomita zaidi ya kayole na mguu and the people have known us because of one dress 
na watu walikuwa natujua kwa sababu ya linda moja and, and one pair of shoe na kiatu ni moja and somebody assured me a, a, a shoe a pair but one was torn and the other was, <laughs> was okay and it was a boot whether it is hot or cold mm. i put that boot and i go to preach mtu akanyuzia kiatu ambao moja imetoboka na ingine ni nzuri na ikawa ni boot nivae kila wakati kuwa kuko na jua kunanyesha aijalishi she sold it to me because she had used it and she didn't need it anymore alimuuzia kwa sababu alitumia mpaka ikaisha na ihitaji tena and she said if only you give me 50 shillings i'll give it this one akamwambia kama utanipatia 50 mimi nitakupa hiki hapo and i did have that i'm seen i told her i will give you one day mm. and she, before i preach you know she has not paid this <laughs> you know she and before i pre everybody knew and i have to say mm. because you cannot concentrate with them with the meeting of this shoe mm. soon i'm going to pay it and i don't need your money I used to defend myself with a lot, <laughs> with, with a lot of with a lot of pain. Ule mama kila wakati askofu akisimama umbira anasema hata hata hii kiatu amevaa anjalipa. Akajua basi watu hata zikia unjumbe maana kiatu ndio wanaangalia. Kamwambia basi hii kiatu nitakulipa. And I could zip up one 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 shoe mm. but the other one was spoiled i could not but yet she is just back biting me mm. unapata zip ya kiatu moja ilikuwa nzuri na ile ingine ni mbaya haivunguki lakini bado mama anateta and you every day i told her i will not pay you you can go and report <laughs> me to police station <laughs> ikazidi na akachoka akamwambia basi sitakulipa nishtaki mahali unataka kushtaka but i could not remove it and give her back because i didn't have another one <laughs> lakini kiatu yenyewe singetoa maana sina ingine and for eight years na kwa miaka nane i passed through fire and i never told anyone akapitia moto na hakumwambia mtu yeyote thank god for kaloleni mm, shukuru mungu kwa njili ya kaloleni it was my rescue mm. I saw that hall and we have accepted to be there and I said surely God works miracles signs and wonders. Niliona ule ukumbi na nilipojua ya kwamba tutaingia nikasema kweli Mungu wewe unatenda miujiza. He was told to endure hardness. Akaambiwa ushiriki taabu not because there is any sin that he has committed si kwa sababu kuna dhambi ametenda because here we have a bad neighbor maana hapa duniani tunaye jirani mbaya his name is satan jina lake ni shetani he can use your wife anaweza tumia hata mke wako you are children watoto wako your sisters and brothers dada zako na ndugu zako your friends and everybody na marafiki zako na kila mtu to frustrate wakutese not to continue ili usiendelee with the gospel na kuhubiri praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe the way you admire it not the way we admire it vile una inakufurahisha sio vile tulifurahia even as i am bishop sometimes in the at night i tell the lord even tomorrow not go to church na sita wahubiria na sita rudi kuhubiri hata saa hii akiwa askofu kuna usiku anaweza amka mwambie Mungu hata kesho Bwana sitahubiri tafuta mtu mwingine Mungu look for somebody else na ninamaanisha na ndani ya moyo wako wake ako anamaanisha lakini napata kandoto kengine nasema sorry 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 hai sare Da. And I was a whole night repenting. Ana kaa usiku mzima basi anatubu. It reaches to another place I tell the Lord, ah enough is enough. And I think Lord you 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 did you 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 you, you didn't perfect calling me. Niafika kiwango ngine namwambia Mungu sasa yatosha yatosha. Na ni kama Bwana hujatimiza haki yako ndani yangu 
Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asithiwe. And always the Lord will visit me. Na kila wakati Bwana umetembelea. And he will uh, uh, he will renew my strength. Na nafanya huu pia nguvu zake. And renew my mind. Anavunya huu pia nia yake. And renew my strength. Na nafanya huu pia nguvu zake. Without the grace of God. Pasipo nehema ya Mungu. You can't continue. Hauwezi songa mbele. Nyinyi mnasema hii biashara imetufrustrate, imetuf unatukano hata na watoto umeombesha toba mm. ametoka kwa mavumbi mm. amekaa kama mfaume lakini anasimama anakutusi Unaku... for years Unaku... daily Unaku... daily 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 mm. mpaka mi, mi, message zote za simu zinaisha unatukano mm. matusi nakuzomewa and so many other things na mambo mengine mengi na kunenewa vibaya mm. Lakini unasema God forgive them. I, I always say if it were Jesus how could he behave? And the spirit tells me forgive me them for they don't know what they are doing. Wanajiuliza kama ingekuwa ni Yesu anapokea hayo maneno hangefanya nini? Roho so, Mungu anamwambia wasamee. Paul didn't want to pretend to Timothy. Kwa hivyo Paulo hakutaka kumficha Paulo he, he gave him the naked word. neno kamili. And you can't be tried beyond your faith. Wesi ukajaribiwa zaidi ya ile imani yako. When you are graced by the Lord to work in the house of the Lord, which is the highest calling on the face of the earth. Ukiwa umeneemishwa na Mungu uitwe katumishi wa nyumba ya Bwana ambalo ndio mwito mkuu zaidi. When heaven is rejoicing the hell is fighting. Wakati mbingu inasherekea jahanamu inapigana. That's why when God ordained David through Samuel Na ndio sababu wakati Mungu alimweka wakfu Daudi kupitia Samuel David was attracted by two bees Daudi alikaribishwa na mambo mawili In time you want to go beyond where you been in Christianity Kila wakati unataka kwenda kiwango cha juu kutoka mahali ulio There are two attraction that you attract Kuna mavutio mbili ambao sinafutia. Number 1, ya kwanza, blessings, baraka, be blessings. Number na, 2, na ya pili, baraka, battles. Na bi ya pili ni vita. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So if you are coward and I'm not talking to my sons alone. Even if you be given a few things to 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 lead to God. The enemy will use another person, mm. any other. Mm. But because you have never been told mm. and you don't know, you think it's, it's bread and butter and honey and meat and rice and everything. Utajulishwa na hawa watu muna kuanga na hawa. Usipo jua ya kwamba si raisi na si vilo na thania basi haita kuwa raisi kwa. When you go to train a driver here in Kenya, ukienda kufundisha dereva hapa Kenya, and you have no kona ile in the room, and even you muda, graduate to DL, na akifaulu apewe license, don't say that you have known how to drive. Usiseme ya kwamba umefusu kuwa nilu. Driver. You have given that DL to meet with the makanga. Unapewa hiyo license ukakutane na makanga barabarani. Those who are not careless to drive. Hawajali vile wanaendesha. And even if they knock your car, the car they are driving is not theirs. Hata wakingonga gari yako wanaacha gari wanaenda. And when you are very careful driving according to the law of Kenya, mm. you are not ahead and back. Wakati unakuwa mwangalivu unafuata sheria za barabarani uende taratibu and you take some times to know unangongwa nyuma na how to drive especially in Kenya na lazima ukuwe mwangalivu sana jinsi unaendesha gari that's how it is when you go to the battlefield 
Hivyo ndivyo livyo napoenda katika uwanja wa vita. So I don't want to expect every time yeah, somebody I'm say I'm, I'm no 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 that will be nonsense to me. Already Paul had spoken and it is it is given. If you feel you cannot stomach these small things, quit peacefully and leave and the devil will celebrate you if you if you quit ukiona hautaweza kustahimili majaribu nayo mambo napatana nayo jaribu kutoka andui anakongojea i pray that you not meet with any ni maombi yangu sikutane na hayo but the kingdom belong to the owner and there are the ways that he uses to sharpen people lakini ufalme ni wa Mungu mwenyewe lakini kuna njia anatumia kukweza watu wake. Even when the Lord when you are serving God. Hata unapomtumikia Mungu, the Lord expect you to be as good as Samuel even more. Bwana anatarajia uwe mzuri hata kuliko Samuel. There is nothing that prophet uh, Samuel didn't meet with. Hakuna jambo lolote ambalo Samueli hakupatana nalo. But he knew this is a, a battle field. Lakini alijua tu ni uwanja wa vita. He was careful and he fought his battle with a lot of understanding. Alikuwa mwangalifu na kapikana vita zake akiwa mwangalifu. He never went to the battle without an offering. Hakwenda vitani pasipokuwa na sandaka. That is the greeting that you go to God with. Hiyo ndio salamu ambayo anamwendea Mungu nalo. And not these few things that your ancestors gave to the devil. Na sio hizo vitu ndogo ndogo mababu zako. God is a jealous God. Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa wivu. That's where you could see Abraham making altar after another. Na ndio sababu ulikuwa unaona Abraham anatengeneza madhambao kwenda ingine. And I don't want you to be ignorant and the church to be ignorant because everybody has a department to lead. Na sitaki kila mtu hawe aelewi na hata kanisa iwe haielewi. But with all the trials and temptations in the life of uh, of Samuel he overcame. Lakini kwa majaribu yote na shida zote kwa Samueli alishinda and he could speak plainly that he has been he is perfect in his leadership na ngeongea waziwasi ya kwamba uongozi wake ulikuwa mzuri and he was telling the people you have known me from my childhood anawaambia watu mmemjua tangu jana wangu with the early in the church tukiwa na eli pale kanisani and have grown knowing you knowing me na tumekuwa pamoja mkinielewa and now i am old na sasa nimekuwa mzee with the great head niko na mvi and now i have fought a good fight nimepikana vita nzuri and there is nobody i have oppressed Hakuna mtu ambaye nimemtesa. Nobody has sent se, to my bego. Hakuna mm. mtu nimemnyang'anya chochote. Nimemwambia to my bego. Nimemwitisha. Nobody have sought salvation for. Hakuna mtu nilimuuzia wokovu ama mavuta. Nobody have asked bribery to give me money so that I may pray for him. Hakuna mtu nilimuitisha rushwa ili anifunge macho. And he said Beyond here am a witness against me and the Lord and before his anointed. Os ox have I taken. Nami nipo hapa basi mnishuhudie mbele za Bwana na mbele ya masi wake. Nilitoa ngombe wa nani? You know some pastors they want to misuse congregation. Wachungaji wengine wanataka kutumia vibaya wa shirika. And they want to to set their birthday. Mm, wanataka kila siku yao ya kuzaliwa wasimamie. And that birthday Adala ataleta ngombe. Wewe watakuja na kichwa ya ngombe. Masi ataleta sukari. Liki 
ataleta maema mm. beti utaleta nini keki na mukatae kuzileta mm. au kasio <laughs> have you seen such muzipo simama nami laana iko juu yenu si it is your birthday mm. beti shasa said in my birthday katika sherehe za kuzaliwa go to jerusalem enda yerusalem bring the golden cups of the church let us yombo vya dhahabu kutoka kwa nyumba ya bwana so that i may take beer with my people ili nikunywe mufinyo na marafiki wangu and the lord said hiyo ni uongo bwana akasema tutaona sio ni kama anaweza fanya hivyo am i talking yes and they were brought na vyombo vikaletwa and the lord said let me wait whether he can devour that which i have cleansed bwana akasema acha ningoje naone kama atanajisi and the lord waited until the vessels of the church were put ako mungu akangojea hati vyombo vya kanisa vikawekwa pombe and he brought a hand without the arm alete kicha ya mkono because idole peke yake he is mocking god maana ana mbarao mungu and that how is leadership ended na hivyo ndivyo uongozi wake uliisha you must be very careful to the people you are leading lazima ukue mwangalifu sana kwa watu unaoongoza there are pastors wa shirika ni lazima walime hiyo shamba yao yote na wa wafanye nini wakuje kufuna wapande mm. wapalilie mm. siuseme na kizungu to so palilie to cultivate and to harvest and also to wafune na kuna chai wanapikiwa mm. na ushike mahindi moja every christmas you cannot try to touch even one kuna mchango ya kununulia pastor christmas nguo viatu na ni sheria even if you are sleeping angry hata kama unalala njaa and when pastor is passing is more than a policeman respected and honored and he has, in, he, he has put fear on people and they fear him wakati mchungazi anapitia katikati yao ni kama askari mheshimiwa watu wanamuongopa and if i have to stay here in the church mpaka saa zile natoka saa ine saa tatu kuna mabao zao wao hawajaenda kwa waz, mabibi zao na watoto wao wananingojea wanipeleke kwa nyumba hata nikikaa mpaka saa kumi i am the boss hata pasta akichelewa kwa ofisi yake atoke huko saa ine saa tano kuna wa mabonza wanamngojea pale nje na ni bwana za, na, za jamii na wanjatembelea mabibi zao wala watoto wao and they are carrying me with their own vehicle and that is a law and the constitution of the church na katiba yao inasema wamubebe na magari yao wampeleke kwake kwa nyumba praise the name of the lord and they rob and they misuse people mistreat people wanaimbia watu wanawatumia vibaya na nauliza ni ngombea nani mimi nilichukua mm. sema na kizungu uh, which hoax have i taken ni kondoo ya nani nilichukua ikanichotee maji which sheep have i taken ni nani alinionga ndio nimfanyie maombi ama chochote ama sarakasi who brought me so that i can he can blend in my eyes to who show you have i oppressed ni nani nilitesa whom have i received bribe to blind in my eyes ni nani nilipokea rushwa anifunge macho yangu and i will restore it to him na nitamrudishia praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe hii hii jukwa nimelelea watu vizuri na wamekaa vibaya sana juzi mwingine alikuwa anasema we mimi naonyesha hango wa bishop waonyeshwe mimi nimeanoinjua kushinda bishop let that k let 20k let 
Na, na ameingia nyumba za watu hapa kila mtu ameingia kwa nyumba yake ninajua na wamjui Ama itoke okay? na meongea lakini shida ikikuja iki ni wapi wakati shida imekupata ndio narudi na msiambie bishop don't tell her ana ana anointing kama mimi ninaonyesha ngwa kila kitu nimeona kaburi kwenu mbili na bishi wa wawezi wanyeshwa mm. nataka ulete pesa ni waombe hii church yetu hapa kansan i was receiving a report after another one day i told the lord let this pastor never come in the church and he never came hata sijamwongelea Nilikuwa napokea habari siku kwenda ingine and one day I prayed and told God let this pastor ama huyu mchungaji asikuje kanisani tena because he can continue and get a curse in my altar when nobody should receive any curse under me maana anaweza endelea napokea laana katika madhambao na sitaki yoyote Na, na nyinyi nawauliza kwa nini mnapatia watu nimezaa hapa pesa mnaongwa mnafanywa sarakazi na na nyinyi nationa hiyo pesa mkinileta Bora sifiwe Amen Praise the name of the Lord Amen Na karibu Tuesday fellowship yote mm. Wacha nikwambie Nikisikia ulikuwa kwa mchungaji mwingine nitakupatia transfer huko kaange kwake na nikubariki na ubarikiwe huko kwa. Hakuna kitu imefanywa hapa sijui enda uulize Mungu. Hata wale wanatokanga hapa tumewaombea, tumewafanya nini na wanaenda kwa Ezekiel. Hakuna mtu sijui hata majina yake yote tano ile iko kwa ID. Wacha hii una ficha moja. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Unless two agree they cannot walk together. Wawili wasipokumbaliana huwezi tembea pamoja. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Am I talking? Mm. Unajua si vizuri unakula manyama kwa wenyewe mm. na kidheri na takataka alafu unakuja kuoga mikono rudi kule ulikuwa unakula nyama praise the name of the lord amen you need to make up your mind lazima ufanye waamusi one of us we have worked a work with him and the family tumetembea na askofu pamoja na jamii yao and truly this is a holy man oh ametembea na boniface boya pamoja na jamii yake kwa muda mrefu Na huyu ni mtu mtakatifu. Na ni mtu mwenye aki. Usimchafue. Mm. Mtu akianza kukuchafua nipigie simu. Unasikia? Joyce, sikubali kuchafuliwa. Mtu akitaka kuchafua nipigie simu. Mm. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. You know God is not found in people. God is in you. Mungu apatikani atafuti kwa watu Mungu tayari yako ndani yako Those miracles that you need they are in you Ile miujizo unahitaji iko ndani yako That big miracle that Sarah wanted it was in her Ile miujiza mikubwa Sarah alitafuta ilikuwa ndani yake And even when he was pleading to be given a son he was given generations Na hata alipokuwa naomba apewe mwana akapewa kisasi that miracle that Anna was praying for it was in a womb ule muujiza Anna aliombea ulikuwa ndani ya tumbo lake every miracle that you need is within you kila muujizo unahitaji huko ndani yako oh those vehicle you need they are within you mangari yote unahitaji yako ndani yako wale washirika wote unataka they are within you the congregation that you are looking for it's in you praise the name of the lord and when you please god when you seek the kingdom of god first and his righteousness all these things will follow you 
ukitafuta ufalme wa Mungu na haki yake kwanza mambo haya yote yatakufuata praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe unajua mimi sisengeni naambianga mtu waziwazi atanipeleka wapi na kuna jela ya wachungaji bwana asifiwe praise the name of the lord amen these things that paul did timothy could see them yale matendo faulo alitenda timothyo aliaona and he was telling you are a witness and i have done it to so many people waambia ni wewe ni shahidi ya kwamba nimetendea watu wengi i might not be like paul but the people that have told the difference class from class number 1 to class number 57 57 na ni a na b na washirika nafikiri ni wengi Wenda sitakuwa kama Paulo lakini watu ambao nimefunza darasa la ukombozi sitangue darasa la kwanza hata msini na saba A and B ni zaidi ya wale wa Paulo. And before God I can stand to all the people I preached for and ask them question of the kind that Samuel was asking people. Na mbele ya watu wote niliofundisha na Yesu simama mbele yao na niwauliza maswali ambayo Samueli alikuwa anauliza. Because I was saved to inherit the kingdom of God. Maana niliokoka ni rithi ufalme wa mbinguni. That is my interest. And your interest is to receive the kingdom of God. Mapenzi yako ni upokee ufalme wa Mungu. Though trials and temptations can come ingawa mateso if the yes, bear will come the lord will kill it for you kama shetani atakuja mungu atamuondoa kwa njili yako using your ends akitumia mikono yako if the lion will come simba akikuja the lord will kill that lion bwana ataua huyo simba using your hand akitumia macho yako if egyptian come in team wa misili wakikuja kwa kundi the lord will cause you to kill them with a job on of a donkey bwana atakusababisha wauwe na na mfupa ya ya kunda if they lock you in a situation that you cannot get yourself out wakikufungia katika mahali uwezi toka the lord will help you to hold that gate and go to the mountain and they know that you are with the lord bwana atakusaidia ongoa hiyo lango na upeleke juu when the lord has called you you should not fear you should not say what i will eat what i will drink what the lord will provide bwana anapokuita usiongope utakula nini utafanya nini don't shame the name of the lord usiaibishe jina la bwana many pastors they like shaming the name of the lord wachungaji wengi wanapenda kuisha praise the name of the lord my dear friends mm. even if i don't have a rent hallelujah Takama the lord will provide even if i left without without my family food mm. hallelujah i know the lord will hallelujah even if i don't have another suit it's only this one who mm. oh, lord will have mason usitulete mastress yako na mungu mm bwana asifiwe usiaibishe jina lako usianze kuaibisha mungu kuaibisha mungu mm. mwingine alianza kuaibisha mungu eh hey, mungu kinipatia rent eh hey, akajitoa nguo akajitoa nguo tuseme na kizungu another one tried to ashamed himself before the lord that the lord if you give me clothes If you give me rent. Ukinipatia okay, pesa ya nyumba. Na ni hapa kwa madhabao. And he is in the outer. Mama mwingine tajiri. Another woman who was rich. Akaanza kule. <laughs> Pasa wetu wako na shida. Oh, Pasa is in the problem. Our Pasa. Kuja twende kwangu. Kuja twende. He, she gave her the the rent and the school fees and the food. And you know when you want to get to get hold of a chi- or, or, of a chicken you throw mains to 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 this chicken ukitaka kushika kuku unamtumia mahindi and Natupa. this lady was throwing mains to the pastor let me tell you what your pastor cannot tell you huyo mama alikuwa anarusha mahindi kwa mchungaji for three months he could pay school fees he could pay she could pay and one day she got malaria sema malaria really mmoja akapata ugonjwa wa malaria and she, she didn't go to the church na hakuenda kanisani 
and she was sick malaria lakini si malaria ukweli ni malaria ya mchungaji anataka mchungaji bwana sifi ni ile malaria kwamba anataka mchungaji amtembelee ako tu sawa aliposikia mchungaji anakuja akaingia bedroom when she had the pastor is coming she entered the bedroom everybody <laughs> Out. Out. Let him come alone. He come alone. Everybody else out. Only the pastor is allowed. Watoto wakaenda mbali. Children go and call the pastor. Mchungaji kuingia nyumba ikafungwa, kuli ikawekwa, ngozi ikatolewa. Naambia kwani ulikuwa unakula pesa zangu bure. How can you eat my money? You have to pay me. Lazima leo utanilipa. Unasikia hii maumbiri ya mastress? Waambia Mungu mastress yako. Mimi nikihubiri nichoke na sina kitu nawaambia wewe Mungu unajua endi rafiki yangu. Wale wako kwa mkunju wametengeneza masufuria na karai za chapati ni kazi ngumu wamelipwa na wenyewe wewe lete pesa bwana mm. pitisha hapa kwa rufu si lazima mtu ajue na Mungu mm. analeta bwana asifiwe amen ama mnafikiri nimearibu injili mnabarikiwa <laughs> praise the name of the lord <laughs> unasikia dalila wajaisha wanasema kwani 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 Joyce ndiye mzuri kunishinda wajeni niwaambia attraction ziko mm. na si Joyce mara nyingi ako Nairobi chue uko the two praise the name of the lord bwana zifiwe mchungaji naweza nikakutafutia kangari haleluya rima shoko tolobobosha the lord spoke to me I can which buy God? you a car to move which around. God? Which God? Bwana asifiwe. Mungu mungani huyu. Joyce, umekadhirika. Injili inaendanga hivyo hata wewe utahubiri kushinda mimi. Tena ile kali vile unaona, vile unakaanga mtakatifu mtakatifu. <laughs> Siku ile tutakupatia mike tutaza aya si yeye. Si yeye. Unanielewa? Yes. Wachungaji Unatoanga Mungu nguo. Ukikosa chakula enda ulale na uambie Mungu nataka pesa. Na kanisa kama haikupatii pesa, enda kazini Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday shinde ukisoma neno, wahubirie Sunday kama waleti sandaka, henda industrial area from Monday to Friday. Wani wanafikiri Wewe utavuta pesa for your food. Si Paulo alikuwa anaenda anatengeneza hema. Mm. Anapata pesa. Mm. Wengine wakitoa sandaka yeye anatoa kubwa. Even Nini hatujaona. There is nothing that you are not seen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Musiopress washirika. Musi... Na musiopress mkitumia jina yangu. Bishop Do, alisema unajua watu wengi wanachafua jina yangu tu. Mm. Bishop alisema mlete mbusi. Mlete mchele, mlete kondo, mimi sijasema hivyo. I have not said that. In moment like this I and it's a my uh, I sing a love song to Jesus. Let us be in a moment like, like this, this I sing a us I sing a love song to you in moment in moment like this I sing a song Johnny Mutwa is a bit in the corner of my house I'm 
Father, we thank you. We bless your name. You did this long time ago. We believe this is a appointed time. We pray heavy anointing to rest upon them. We pray for wisdom. Yes, Lord. For knowledge. Yes, Lord. For understanding. Yes. The spirit of Christ. Yes. The spirit of mighty. Yes. The spirit of a soldier mm. and of the army mm. to rest upon them mm. in the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Father, we pray in the green and declare mm. nobody, mm. no spirit, yes. no power of darkness yes. will be able mm. to stand mm. against him. Against the wife, yes. against the children, mm. against the generation, yes. all the days of their lives. Mm. As you did give victory mm. to Joshua, we release this victory, power, anointing, miracles, signs and wonders, bringing men to yourself through him, through the family, yes. and through the generation. Mm. This we pray, believe, and ordain you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what. Ah uh -huh.